It says recover funds on a ledger Nano S, right? So, all right. So they 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 started off right. They had a ledger. So it was you know they had their own keys. Said their house was a victim of fire. First of all, I never heard that phrase. Before. My house was a victim of fire. I heard that my house was on. Anyway, so I lost my ledger Nano S and twenty four passwords. I had a wallet with one point three three BTC. I recovered only files on my PC where there was an Electron wallet, but this is protected with the signature of my ledger. Can anyone know what I can do? Reward 0 0.01 BTC. And there's basically a bunch of comments telling boy like, yo, you SOL. So he put a reward out for 0 0.01 BTC. He had over one Bitcoin. He lost one Bitcoin because of a file. Now, this is, you know, a little education piece for one. First of all, the right thing he did was having a ledger, right? A ledger is cold storage where he controlled his own keys. He took it off Coinbase. He put his 1.33 Bitcoin. Man, he had a full coin too, bro. He, yo, full, shout out to all the full coiners out there. I know people are watching that got a full coin. He had a full coin. Um, It's gone. The past phrase, see, phrase burnt out. There's a lot of ways you can protect yourself. You can buy different, Um, they have different like titanium things where you can actually store your phrase on there, which are fireproof. Um, fireproof safe. That you put in your house, you can buy. They actually sell fireproof bags on Amazon for like thirty bucks. They're fireproof. It's like a, it looks like a um pencil case, but it's fireproof. You can put your phrase in there. You should always have your phrase in, in two places: someone you trust, whether it's like a, a bank locker or um safe deposit box. But because the thing is, even if you lose a ledger and you have that phrase, you can go buy another ledger, put the phrase in, and you still got your one point three three BTC. This boy right here is SOL. Corey, how salty would you be if you lost 1.33 BTC? Let alone on top of the fact your house just burned down. The, I mean, I, I, I'll be fired up, but I, I feel I have a, I have a, a, a love love relationship with money where I think I'm going to get it back. So I don't really think I wouldn't be, I would I'll be burnt up, but I wouldn't be out of I wouldn't be out of control burnt up. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, I respect that. But here's what, here's what, here's what, these stories like this. The reason they, they drive me crazy is this, right? I mean, for one, you know, it could have could have could have prevented this, but that's yeah. that's, not, that's not the main thing. What drives me crazy about this is we know what Bitcoin is going to do over the next decade. So he has to relive this all the time. Yeah. Let's, let's just say Bitcoin gets to a million dollars per coin, right? And anything we say here is not investment advice. It's for pure educational entertainment purposes only. He gonna have to relive this every year <laughs> when the news reports. One Bitcoin is this. One Bitcoin is that. It's gonna drive him nuts. It's yeah, like the guy, it's like the that country. that part would drive me more nuts than actually losing it. Because mm -hmm. now yeah. I gotta relive all of the, the all of the things I did to get that one point three Bitcoin. Another thing about that, there's a lot of people over the years who have lost their phrase, had situations like this. That means that that is out of the equation. So right, simple supply and demand. There's only so much supply. And when you start talking about the amount of Bitcoin that's like, you know, gone because of situations like this, whatever's left, I mean, that's, that adds value to it. How many people die? And, uh, you know, we talked to someone the other day. Um, I, I forgot who, I, I think he was on a, on a call too. But someone was talking about like someone that passed away and they didn't know how to get to their keys. But oh, line, no, no. was that one of the stories that we, we had on here? No, this is someone we know. <laughs> like, oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah, yeah, don't want to say yeah, nobody's yeah, name, yeah, but yeah, I'm just yeah, saying, yeah. like, no, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was on the MDC. Yeah, this this kind of stuff happens, right? So this kind of stuff happens. Um, I think it was Jamil. Jamil. Jam, it's a couple. It's a brother that passed away, but it's a couple folks that I had. I don't know him personally, but I had a lot of friends in common because I saw people posting about it on my timeline. But the bottom line is, when stuff like that happens, it's less of it. You know, it's less of it in the world. So whatever's left. Pure supply and demand says that. The price has to go up. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. So, I just want to tell y'all: be careful with y'all keys, man. If y'all do, because the thing about becoming your own bank, you say this in is all that your your own bank. <laughs> you say it in our Bitcoin course, three ways to crypto. We talk about this. You're also responsible for security of your bank. So, just be careful out there. Is all I want to say.